What's up everybody, my name is Darth Jaswick and welcome back to my channel. Today we are building this gorgeous farmhouse. This is a 50 by 50 lot, the Palomino Junction lot in Chestnut Ridge, the new world from the horse ranch pack. I actually got the inspiration for this build from like a modern farmhouse on Pinterest. It has like this grain silo that's actually part of the house and I thought that that was really cool. So we're messing around with some curved walls here and let me just say that that was a total nightmare because it took me so long to figure out how to get the rounded room to look the way that it currently looks and also not be interfering with um, like the other walls because it was just like not working. But that's kind of the nature of the beast when we're working with curved walls. Like once you place something inside a curved room, you can't really pick it back up unless you like put the walls down or like completely delete the object, like like unplace it. But I managed to make it work nonetheless. I put a couple of uh, snowy escape windows in it just to bring in some really natural light from the top. I wanted to use the distressed wood because like I wanted to go with the idea that this was like a multi-generational family home. It had been in the same family for generations and generations and they just never really repainted anything. So that um, the rustic swatches in this pack really, really came in handy. Now this family only has two horses, so the other two stalls are for the mini goats and mini sheep to sleep in. And we also have like a little area over here for a couple of animals, like some dogs and a couple of cats, because we do have the cat hangout lot trait, as well as the party place lot trait to help us with the like petting zoo events that came with horse ranch and the homey lot trait. We also have wild prairie grass as a lot challenge on, mostly just because I wanted to make sure that we had tons of food for our animals but also because you can search for items inside the prairie grass once they get like tall enough. You can like find nectar bottles or random collectibles in the prairie grass. This build ended up costing around 138,000 simoleons and I used like 35 packs and I'm so so sorry you guys. I just kept finding things that I really wanted to place in this build so I just kind of went a little overboard. <laughs> you can kind of see that I'm placing like a little dollhouse from the new horse ranch pack uh, as well as this like little carpet from cats and dogs and I thought that that would be cool to be like a like a mowed grass or something like that around the little tiny uh, toy house. I don't know. Um, this family has two infants. They're twins named Aisha and Kian. Aisha is calm and Keegan is cautious and I feel kind of bad because I was uh, playtesting this build for about an hour just making sure that everything worked and getting like my screenshots and everything that I needed and um, I felt so bad because I was completely ignoring the infants so that I could have the parents and my ranch hand like do things so the infants were just getting ignored and I feel really bad about that so I think I might do like a mini let's play with this family uh, let me know if you'd like to see that although I'm not really sure it's a great idea because playing with this many animals as well as twin infants was stressing my sims out so much like they weren't even taking care of their needs they weren't listening to anything i had to turn autonomy off because the infants crying were making the parents do nothing but take care like they would literally stop what they they were doing skill building wise or whatever i was having them doing for playtesting and go take care of the infants so i had to turn autonomy off and uh, deal with that. I ended up just cheating the baby's needs like a lot so that I could get this play testing done because it took me like two days in game to get all the like testing done because I was trying to get like really good like tab mode shots like of my sims doing things because I thought that looked better for the gameplay. Um, we're just getting onto the ranch hands room. This isn't really functional for the ranch hands because they like leave at the end of the day, but I thought it would be fun. Um, I actually do have one ranch hand that is um, the friend of the mom of the twins, which I'll talk about in a few minutes. I assigned one of these beds in here to the friend even though we have an extra bedroom downstairs, um, I wanted to make that one for like stayover guests, although the family doesn't really have any other family outside of the home. Uh, but if you did, um, if you play with like a family that you created for this house, then you could actually like put like grandparents or parents in there. 
But since we're talking about parents, I thought I'd tell you about Aisha and Keegan's parents. Uh, Maxwell Prado is their dad. He is an expert nectar maker, and that gives him the essence of flavor bonus trait. He is also self-assured, horse lover, and a rancher. And his wife, Lorraine Carney Prado, is a championship rider who has a high metabolism as her bonus trait. She loves animals, loves the outdoors, and she is a horse lover. And their horse's name is Butterscotch, who is brave, intelligent, and mellow. Uh, He's a mixed breed, and he's a stallion. Now, Lorraine's friend moved in with them after the infants were born. Her name is Eve Greenfield. She is a country caretaker, which gives her the collector bonus trait. She loves the outdoors. She's a rancher and a horse lover. I gave her a horse named Moon Pie. She's a mare. She's intelligent, brave, and she has the friendly traits. Um, She's a Percheron. That's like the breed of horse. Um, She also has a dog, Old English Sheepdog, who is independent, hairy, and smart. We also have like four or five mini goats and four sheep. We also have a couple of chicken coops with a bunch of different chickens all in the back. I didn't put them in a fence or anything. I do kind of wish I had because then I could like lock the fence and like they wouldn't be in my house. But that's kind of like, but oh well, the horses were riding around in the houses uh, when I was playtesting it. It just kind of, like I thought I locked all the doors and things, but I don't know what's happening. I feel like there's like a glitch or something with locking the doors right now. I know James Turner was having some issues. Uh, with the, all the doors like locking to the same door, like if he locked like the front door for everyone, then all of the gates would be locked for everyone. I don't really know. Uh, it was weird. I know there was an SDX drop yesterday. Um, I think it was only like the lunchbox and a couple backpack swatches, which isn't really major, but I do think it's cool that we can actually like use the lunchboxes now and have them like be functional so your sims can grab like quick meals and things from them. Like, mostly because if you're trying to start, like, a rags to riches and you can't afford a fridge, you can always just get this little lunchbox that's probably really cheap and grab quick meals out of it so that your sim doesn't, like, starve to death. (laughs) I also pulled a couple things out of Debug for this build, like these little horse statues that are in front of the garden are from Debug, um, as well as the uh, windmill that's behind the winery. And I thought that that was a fun uh, little detail to add because it does actually move when you turn the game into live mode. And you can see now we're adding in our chicken coops just before we get into the playtesting portion of the video. But this is the completed rustic farmhouse. I am so happy with the way that this turned out. I think it looks so incredible. Uh, We've got our farm ranch hand just kind of hanging out. Our horses are running all over. I put out these picnic tables and a fire pit for when you host these farm animal events. It's almost like a fundraiser. You just invite over like a bunch of your friends and they can come over and play with your sheep. And at the end of the event, they give you like a certain amount of money, uh, which is really neat. You can kind of act like it's like a petting zoo almost. Our uh, dad here, Maxwell, is just making some dinner and feeding the chickens. Uh, I love this kitchen. I think it is so cute. Um, We've got some pots and pans, uh, some country kitchen kit uh, decorations everywhere. Um, Lorraine is doing some cross-stitching by the fire. Uh, One of the infants is there on the floor uh, because she just set it down. Um, That Eve Greenfield there in the yellow dress. and now she's in a orange outfit there having some breakfast. Uh, I'm really happy with the way that this nursery turned out. I've got a little horsey toy on the floor. Um, a couple of things from growing together. The like little box with the bear on it. Uh, this is the master bedroom. Uh, Maxwell is asleep and Lorraine is coming to join him here. Um, I created a little like custom vanity for her. Um, I had Maxwell come and light the fire in the barn so that the dogs could stay warm, as well as the like sheep and goats. I don't think they're affected by the weather, but you know, better to be safe than sorry. Um, Maxwell has the nectar-making aspiration, so he's just going to check things out. Uh, Eve is just having a good old time doing some cowpoke dancing. Uh, you can see he's making some nectar here. Uh, he's doing some apple nectar, uh, and he fell down in it, so. That's that's always great. Um, 
this is our like little training area. We've got the couple jumps and the barrels for the horses. Um, right now, Lorraine is just riding butterscotch. She's gonna go and do some jumping to practice. Uh, the animations are really good for this pack. But that is all the time I have for today's video. I hope you all enjoyed. If you do, Make sure to hit that like button, and you can find all my builds and sims on the gallery at Darth underscore Jeswick, and I hope you all have an amazing day. Bye, everybody.